Okay, hi Chris and Sam. Hi. 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 So first hi. of all, what is your favourite science fact? Do you always get a pause when you ask, ask this? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Uh, when doctors go on strike, fewer people die. Oh, that's, that's my one. Do, why don't you do your teetotalers yeah. one? Para <laughs> what we both like is subversive paradoxical science facts. So teetotalers live less long than moderate drinkers. Can I get a bonus one because you got two? Yeah, go for it. Hangovers. We're doing it. We're doing an online video. Sorry, our agent is interfering. So ask again. Sorry, to so go for it. Hangovers are not caused by dehydration at all. Yeah, that, that is a good, is that a good fact. Good one, yeah. There you go. Have you um, any better? Huh? Have you got a favourite science fact? My favourite one is not your interview. Shut up, shut up. I want to ask. My favourite one is that the blue whale's hot is the size of a car. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love that one. Right. And you can swim with it, so it's really big. If you're small. If you're small. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's how big they are. Your breath. Yeah. <laughs> you can squeeze through. Um, uh, what is your favourite sort of strange medical condition? You um, know it's, it's my, I have a favourite one. Yeah. My favourite one is Hermansky Pudlak syndrome. Because okay. I was asked about it on board round when I was a medical student and I didn't know the answer. Um, but uh, the doctor that was then correcting me on it made me look very stupid. Immediately followed it by uh, saying something completely wrong himself, which I corrected on. So I redeemed myself. So I love this moment. <laughs> Hermansky, and it's very rare and no one's ever heard of it. I like Nathostomiasis because I published a paper. Uh, what it's a, it was a worm that was first discovered, actually it was nice, it was discovered in Thailand by the ancestor of the patient who I found it in, who was the first case outside of Thailand. It's a worm that can crawl through your brain. It's called Nathostoma mansoni, discovered by Patrick Manson, who was the great, 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 great uncle of the patient who I published the paper on, weirdly. So there you go. Nice. Uh, and lastly, we ask everyone, if you're a worm, how long would you be? It's kind of topical. If, oh, what? if I was a worm, yeah, a worm, how long would you be? I'd be about uh, twenty micrometers. Oh wait, is it an actual? Is there a right answer? No, it's just it's just like a joke. Like how long would I want to be as a worm? <laughs> yeah. It's a long one because you can cut them up and make more. So probably a super long. And then you cut them up with scissors and you got super twenty worms. Yeah, okay. so the longer the better. Right? Is that right? Like, is it Freudian? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes a worm is just a worm. So <laughs> <laughs> good. Okay, All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>